Um, first off, just to say thanks to the Mills for giving us the opportunity today to introduce um, Motif to the audience and also to deliver a message which is very much about people and the importance of taking people on whatever your sustainability journey is within your own personal life or within your own business. Um, so if you um, indulge me a little bit, I'm going to talk initially about Motif and um, who we are and what we do. Um, and then move into the bigger picture. So what's going on within the industry right now and what challenges we uh, face. And then also to talk a little bit about the um, skill gap that that presents us with today and what we need to face into. Um, and then just close with a couple of key things that I want you to take away, which is very much based in um, our commitment to people and training. Okay, so motif. We... Um, we're a new business. We launched in October of last year, um, and we are um, established really as an online training platform, basically, and our commitment is to become the go-to knowledge platform for the industry. So um, at the moment, we've got four courses live on the platform and more courses um, planned to land in 2019. Um, our courses are developed and curated by people within the industry for people in the industry. And why is that important? It's important because the people that we work with to develop material have done the job. They've made the mistakes, they've learned the lessons, and it very much relates to our industry as it is today rather than as it was yesterday. Here's just a bit of a... Um, a flavour of the courses that are coming in the next couple of months. Um, a big call out there is the, um, the 3D, Y3D course. We're really excited about this course because if you think about one of the trends, that the key trends that we've got in the industry at the moment, digitisation presents a massive opportunity to all of us in terms of driving the sustainability agenda. Okay, so the format of our courses. Um, it's very much hands-on, it's interactive, it's multimedia, it's designed really for the techie savvy person of today, how you want to learn today. It's not based on workshops, it's not schoolroom based. Um, you take your own journey through our courses and it, 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 it um, really is suited to how people want to learn today. So that's the point of difference in terms of how we build our courses. Um, the other key thing to call out there as well, I know from um, managing big teams within organisations, and also we're trying to work with your supply chain, which is a fundamental part of rolling out good practice in terms of sustainability. One of the big barriers is how you make that training scalable. You know, we're all really time pressured today. We haven't got the time to travel around the world delivering workshop-based training. So our um, platform delivers a solution for that. It's very much a consistent message that you can roll out to your um, teams offshore, um, regionally, and to your supply chain. So a question to the floor, really. Um, are you prepared and are your teams prepared for the future of work? The world is changing. The, our industry is changing. We've seen a similar slide to this already today, and I, I don't think that's an issue because it, it kind of reinforces the message. But think about the amount of change that industry, just in, industry as a whole, has been through in the last 250 years from initial kind of industrialization in the 1850s, right through to computerization, which has been something that's become mainstream, and I hate to say it, but within my lifetime. Um, it wasn't normal when I was a child for everybody to have a computer, let alone a laptop or an iPad. It just, it just wasn't, wasn't um, you know, it wasn't normal. Um, and now we're facing this fourth industrial revolution. So what is that? This is the revolution which is all around the internet and data and being able to analyse data and make decisions based on data. Um, P 
people are talking now about have I got the skills for the future? Have my team got the right skills for the future of work? Um, we're talking as well at the moment about the advent of robotics within normal um, workplaces, which again is um, a challenge to the future of work and the change. Now, all of this we call progress. At each of those stages in the evolution of industry, we've badged it as progress, but it's disruptive. And I think the thing that we don't really um, consider enough is the disruption that presents to people, people like me, people like you in the audience. Um, I've got 27 plus years experience of working both in industry and in retail. And I'm questioning myself at the moment as to whether I've got the skills for the future or the ability to be able to learn at the pace that is going to be required. So what are people saying? Um, I hear lots of things um, at the moment, whether it's on social media or whether it's in day-to-day -day conversations with people and peers in the industry. Um, some of it's market pressure, some of it's consumer-driven. Um, we're hearing about mass personalization becoming the norm. We're talking constantly about sustainability. We're talking about CSR. Um, we're talking about how to become more strategic around sourcing and developing better relationships with our suppliers through traceability, um, automation, robotics, all of these things. Um, but fundamentally, I think what people are questioning is, have I got the knowledge do I understand these things enough to be able to take that forward and implement it and make it um, business as usual within my company or within my business or my workplace? So fundamentally, what people are saying is, this is all about change and it's all about skills. Okay, so two things that I want to call out which are, I think, adding to the pressure. Number one problem that we've got is and this is something that's not happened overnight, we've got people with the knowledge who understand the craft, the foundation skills, who are retiring now. So we're about to lose in the next, I would say, five years, an awful lot of knowledge from within our industry. Um, the industry is looking for new blended skills right now. If you think about the shift into online um, retailing from bricks and mortar retailing, the um, product developer of the future needs to be able to analyse and mine complex data to understand who their customer is. That's very different to, to my experience 20 years ago when you could walk into a store and see who your customer is. So very, very different skills are required for the future. Um, and over the past 20 years, I would say as well, it's become quite a negative thing to work within industry. Um, everybody wants to be a buyer, everybody wants to be a designer. Um, all those commercial roles were paid better and kind of respected more. And the role of the technical developer or the person who worked in industry has diminished. Now, I throw that out to the audience really because I think that presents us with a huge knowledge gap right now because you can train your designers in best practice in terms of um, sustainable design. And it is true that 60% of the impact that you make um, on, in terms of sustainability for, of your product is made at that design stage or when you select the raw materials. But you need somebody who can take that concept forward into manufacturing and produce that in a commercial way to be able to scale it up um, and deliver production at the end of the day. So that's a huge gap that we, uh, we're facing into right now. And number two problem is, as we've said, our industry is moving really fast. And what we know today might not be relevant in five years' time. And this is my problem. <laughs> I'm thinking, how do I keep pace with the, how much the industry is changing? But we've got to be mindful of this. And this is important because the bottom line is that we need to invest in people. Um, I would say for the first time in 250 years that we're behind the curve in terms of leading um, from a knowledge base. Our sector led all of those various stages within the evolution of um, industry 
and now we're, we're kind of be behind the curve. So my pillars for, or motifs pillars for um, sustainable businesses of the future, very much sit with people, number one. Um, obviously be mindful of your impact on the planet, it's fundamental. Um, but ultimately we've got to make money. And you only make money if you have the knowledge. Making profit is not a bad thing. All sustainable businesses need to make money at the end of the day. So to drive that, you need to have the knowledge to be able to make the right decisions. Now, I'm going to shut up and just show you a quick um, video of our sustainability in fashion um, the Brooklyn Fashion and Design Accelerator has designed the Sustainable Fashion Roadmap Tool to help you learn about the sustainable design strategies you can use to achieve your sustainability mission. These strategies are organized in a wheel, each under one of the seven verticals. Each time you go around the wheel, you will consider new strategies and add to your knowledge. Start by looking for the strategies that help you accomplish your mission. Each vertical contains a number of strategies you can use to implement sustainable design practices in your business. As you dig into these strategies under each vertical, you'll start to realize that there are trade-offs. You'll never be able to use all the strategies in a single product. The goal is to find the right strategy for each product. As you dig into the strategies under each vertical, you'll start to realize that there are trade-offs. For example, a product that Right, I'm going to cut it because I'm running out of time. So four th um, key things to leave you with today. Um, the skill, skills will be your competitive edge for the future because knowledge, um, I think, is the, is the key. Number two, think about learning and development in a different way for that tech-savvy audience of the future. Um, an industry has to pay more of a role you have to become more involved um, with education and training. And lastly, um, we need to support with the relevant tools um, for the learners of the future. So that's it from me. Um, I've run over a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, but thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.